Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a champagne here in front of me. It's uh, Canard Duchesne's uh, Parcel uh, uh, 181, Parcel, uh, session, uh, part, partly aged in oak barrels uh, from 12 acres uh, of uh, certified um, organic uh, viticulture, including 7 hectares in Parcel 181, which is situated in Vernoy. Uh, and it's an extra brute. So extra brute, um, they have a, a strange uh, dig, uh, gradation of uh, sweetness in champagne. Extra brute uh, and extra dry are not the same thing. This is um, extra dry for some reason is quite a lot sweeter than extra brute. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't to, to me either. But if it says extra brute on there, I think it's got to have less than six grams of sugar. Um, and um, normally regular non-vintage champagnes have... Uh, well, I, I think of them between 9 and 12 grams of, 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 uh, of sugar in there to round out the slightly gawkier edges. Here, I think the wine, um, hopefully, uh, it's, it, they, they, they've got, managed to, to do it with lower sugar. A uh, couple of reasons. Hopefully, it's going to have a more depth of flavour in the actual wine. Uh, but also, it's had extra ageing in, in the bottle. I think it's had about four years uh, four years on the lees, which will have rounded it out. And uh, so if there were any uh, sharp angular acidity, uh, hopefully it will have been mellowed by the, by, by the time in the bottle. Anyway, let's have a see. It smells fine and elegant, quite toasty notes. Um, a slightly um, caramelised, burnt, dry, they're called dry burnt sugar character to it. So there's this fruit edge, uh, there is the yeasty edge from, from, from the ageing. And uh, yeah, this, uh, this almost caramelised, um, uh, yeah, richness, but it's fine richness. It's not sort of like really corpulent richness. It's a, a, a richness of um, well, well toned muscle. And it's a very nice drink. Um, there's, um, yes, so, as I was expecting, there is this depth of flavour, but then this richness and then this precise finish. Um, and um, you're left where you're left sort of smacking your lips and going, I want some food with this. Sometimes when you have champagne, uh, you think, I really want to have that by itself. But here, uh, because of that freshness and because of that low dosage, that, that low, low level of sweetness, uh, there, is, there is something there that, that is succulent. Um, so you get these toasty characters, these, um, um, yeah, and almost iodine-like. Uh, I, I always go around sniffing iodine, but there's something like that there. Something um, salty, mineral uh, type of character. And then this depth of fruit. So you get the crystallised pineapples, fresh pineapple too, uh, a little bit of orange peel in there. Uh, it, it's really nice. And it's one of those that I, I, in a glass like this, yeah, you, you want it to breathe. You don't want to have it in one of those sort of slender things where you just get a few, uh, a little chance to sniff it. It's one of those that um, uh, improves with each sniff. So I'm going to have a little sniff and a swirl and a, no, might not even spit it out. Well, I'm not quite sure how much it is compared with the, the regular Canard Duchenne. I don't think it's significantly more expensive, um, but it's a, a, a real step up in, in class and quality. Um, it's, yes, it's, 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 it's a fine wine. Uh, it's one of those that, um, yeah, there's, it's dainty on its feet, but it has uh, a lot of presence and uh, serious in a good way, serious in a way that makes you want to spend time in its company. So I think that's what I'm going to do this evening. See you soon.